So today we are visiting a new Christmas market. We are at the Vald Vitful Veg. So this is actually a small amusement park here in the Bavarian Forest. We've been here before during the summertime, but we've never been to their Christmas market. Mm -hmm. So this one is unique because this market is not in the Altstadt of a city. It's not mm -hmm. downtown, but it is here in a forest. And so there is a lot of really cool booths and food and really cool things to see here. So along with the market itself, there are other activities and things that are going on. I think they're gonna have the Christkind will make her appearance. Mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a fire and light show and um, a lot of, and some live music mm -hmm. also. We're also really excited to see if they have any new food and drinks for us to try. So let's go check it out. So today it is extra foggy, but I think that almost makes it a little bit more magical. At this market, the entrance fee is 12 euro per adult and six for kids or 30 euros for a family. Okay, so we just got some food as far as the savory options. Uh, we got some Kesa spatzla, and mm -hmm. then they had a few different types of bratwurst. Um, mm -hmm. So I got the knacker simmel, and they also had some chili. So we're gonna stick to the savory stuff first, and then later there's lots of good sweet options mm -hmm. uh, for us to try. Mm. And it's the Kesa spatzla. It's the best thing that you could ever get. And I love getting it at a Christmas market because it's so warm when it's so cold out here and it just warms you up. It's so good. <laughs> mm, it's very good. The bratwurst also has like a horseradish sauce and some sauerkraut, very delicious. Look at all of these. So I just paid six euro and we're going to try the crackleshin. I think it's kind of like a, like a little donut almost, like a fried dough covered in cinnamon and sugar. This is the first time trying this, so let's give it a shot. Mm. So good, yep, just like a little donut. Very delicious. So they even gave me some Nutella for free. Um, but I like how they're so bite-sized and just take the whole thing and just... I could have eaten 10 more of those donut things. Mm, it was so good. What is it, Griff? It's a llama baby. A llama baby. Okay. So next we're going to check out the Kugel House, which inside this building is a big Kugelbahn, which uh, is a track that you can put a wooden ball on and the ball rolls down the track and goes through different obstacles. And it's something that we've done before and Griffin really loves it. There is also an attraction here that is an upside down house 
you can pay two euros to go inside and take funny pictures in the upside down furnished rooms. So they have food and drinks and crafts that are set up right next to the main entrance. And then you also can follow these Christmas lights through the forest to take you to the different booths that are set up selling crafts and things like that. So during the summer, whenever we've come here before, they have a lot of really cool attractions. Um, they have a treetop walk that takes you through the tree line into a big um, lookout tower, which you can slide a slide all the way back down. They have really nice playgrounds. They have a petting zoo. Um, and they also have a restaurant here. You can stop and get some food too. There were lots of booths selling handmade products such as scarves, honey, sausages, cheeses, yard decorations, and more. So here along the forest path, uh, there are two exhibits you can go inside. One of them is like a cave that we just went in, and it's it's a nature exhibit. And they have um, different uh, different activities that the that the kids can do, and the next one is a um, optical illusion exhibit. So here at the forest trail, at the furthest point, they do have food and glue vines set up. And they do have some different food than what they're serving closer to the entrance. They have goulash soup, they have uh, baked potatoes, and they have crepes, which is different. So one thing different about this market is that they have a, uh, a fire show. So we're going to be doing uh, like fire juggling and different tricks with fire. Never seen, seen that before. finished watching the fire show and it actually was really impressive definitely if you come and that, that's going on try to see that so we just got to go see the Chris Kind. we thought that we had missed her because she was supposed to be here at a certain time today yeah. And we were just too busy and we forgot to come into the restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, but actually as we were walking by, we saw her inside. So mm -hmm. Griffin yeah. got to go inside and tell her what he wished for. Mm -hmm. um, and he got to write it down and hang it on the Christmas tree. Yeah, it's really cute. We also saw the Chris Ken last year in Nuremberg. Mm -hmm. And you can check out that video about uh, the the top things to do at the Christmas market there. So we just got to finish our glue vine and listen to the, the brass band, which was really nice. And I was actually surprised about all the different flavors of glue vine that they had. They had a blueberry one, a red, a white, 
an apple, an apple and orange, um, and other types of punch too. They had the Bald Fitful Bag Punch, which I tried that, which was green, and actually was really tasty. Um, so that has been a really nice thing about this market. There's lots of different variety of drinks. So now we just made it to the tower, so we're going to walk all the way up to the top and check that out. So now we are at the tower and we are going around and around until we get to the top. And one thing that's cool about this is that along the way there are areas for the kids to uh, do different like climbing activities and stuff so that way it keeps their interest too. And when you get to the top, there's a big slide you can slide down. Right now since it's winter, I think it may be closed, but during the summertime, uh, we did that a couple summers ago and it was a blast. So if you are scared of heights, this may not be the thing for you. Uh, right now it's so foggy it's kind of hard to see how, how high up we are. But as you're walking, you can tell that the tower is moving, it's swaying. And if you're scared of heights, it may make you a little scared or a little sick. So this is just a little example of how much this tower is moving. So we made it to the top of the tower and unfortunately it's so foggy that you can't really see anything but one thing that's kind of cool is at the top they have a, a net that kind of protrudes out from the tower so you can walk on that and look down and see how, how tall, how far off the ground you are because you can see the ground so that's kind of, uh, kind of cool and so if you're brave you can do that. Okay, so the last thing that we are eating here at the market is my absolute favorite, and it is Kaiser Schmarrn. So it is fried pancake pieces, and they usually serve it with applesauce. Mm. I could eat this. It's not just a Christmas market food. You can have this all year round here in Germany and in Austria. It's the best. Mm. Okay, so we are wrapping up our time here at the Wald Witful Weg Christmas Market. And I have to say, it was a really nice market. Yeah, surprisingly really nice. And I think one of the coolest things is that there's a lot to do. You don't just go and get, get a yeah. blue vine and stand around and talk, but there's, yeah. um, you can walk around through the forest to go see the different booths. And then along the way, there's different um, stops and different activities for the kids. Mm -hmm. um, since it is like kind of a, um, a theme park or like an amusement yeah. park, you know, there's a lot yeah. of interactive things to do also. Um, yeah, what did you think? I absolutely loved this Christmas market. My favorite back home in Grafenbeer in that area is the Schloss Gutneck, which we have done that market, so we can pin that now to show you that that has been my favorite. But this one, this this might be one of my new favorites. It's very similar, being in the woods, and it's um, just all the lights. It's so pretty, but there's just more things to do here for the kids, and um, there's not as much food options, I don't think but it, it's just been an awesome day. We have spent almost the whole day here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's a lot of options for drinks. So although uh, this market doesn't have as much food options outside, mm -hmm. they do have like a full restaurant. So you can go inside yeah. and sit down and mm -hmm. eat, which is nice if you want to get out, out of the cold. Mm -hmm. They also have a uh, cool indoor playground. So Griffin got to go inside and play at that. Got it. Boy <laughs> and he got a uh, balloon sword because they had a magician that was doing magic tricks and making balloon animals and stuff and the prices weren't terrible like they mm -hmm. were they were um mm -hmm. normal pricing for yeah not yeah. overpriced we've Correct. been to some markets where it is a lot so this one was very feasible i feel like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now you do have to pay to come in of course that's true you do have to pay entrance to get yes. in but 
this is worth it because it's so gorgeous. It's so decorated nicely. The atmosphere here is just amazing. The atmosphere is just beautiful. Something else that makes this market um, special is that they have a fire show, like mm -hmm. a a fire juggling type show mm -hmm. which never seen that at any market before mm -hmm. they had live music which was a really nice brass band mm -hmm. so that was super cool to be able to drink your glue vine and food and listen to the live music and we also got to see the Chris Kent mm -hmm. so that was cool for Griffin to be able to take a picture with with her and like uh, hang something on on the tree so is this mar market worth it yeah, yes I think so I, I think <laughs> it's a great, great market yes Absolutely. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.